So good morning, everybody. Um, today we are going to be looking at how to grow from wherever you are to a highly productive person. Everybody comes into an organization with a basic skill set, but there are certain criteria that drive people to the top. Um, if you look at your people that you graduated with in school, you find out that it's not usually the smartest in your school that are actually the most successful now. So you need to ask yourself, how come average people are doing far better in life post-graduation than the rather very smart people? It means that for anybody who wants to do very well in what they are doing, number one is they need to ask themselves, where am I currently and where do I want to be? It's called gap analysis. I want to be here, or I'm in Onicha, but I want to be in Lagos. So you now need to ask yourself, what will move me from Onicha to Lagos? In terms of skill set, if you are a recruiter, for instance, and you want to become the leading recruiter, what are the skill sets that you need to start to acquire to get you to the top? If you are a customer service person, and you want to grow to become the top customer service person in your industry, what are the skill sets that you need to start to grow and start to acquire? A lot of time, people just pick up a particular job and all they do is that they just keep doing the job day in, day out, day in, day out. Even the improvement that they do are the ones that are forced upon them. But if you ask them, have you ever thought of where you want to be in the next five years? And that place now where you are, the gap there, what are the things that you need to do to fill up that gap? Between where you are now and where you want to be in future, there's a skill set gap. And anybody who understands that will start on time to work on those skill set gap. So it's important for anybody who wants to grow from where they are to want, where they want desire to be to ask themselves, this gap in this space, what are the key skill sets that I need to start to acquire? Anybody who wants to grow in career must constantly be asking themselves that question. Skill set audit means for people who are doing very well in my space, what are the skill sets they have? And out of those skill sets, which ones do I currently have? Like you guys know, we run um, a business school for CEOs. And one of the things I asked them to keep doing was, I asked each of the CEO, they go and meet somebody who is very, very successful in your space and interact with them and report. And when they come back to report to me, most of the things they report is, is a skill set thing. That the skills these top CEOs are using to run the organization and the one they have are quite different. And what I tell them is, look at what these people have and start to acquire them. Because you are currently where you are in life because of the current skill set that you have. So if you want to advance in life, you want to advance in career, is to ask yourself, the people who are currently where I want to be, what skill sets do, do they currently have? And when you find out those skill sets, the next thing now is, let me start taking courses on them. Let me start attending seminars on them. You attended a seminar with me um, last week, Abby. What was the experience like? What do you notice about the speakers? In terms of age. Essentially, these were startups doing massive things, but most of them were. Maximum, I think about 35 should be the old, oldest. So, what you now need to ask yourself as a young person now, what are the skill sets this person has? They talked about blockchain. They talked about um, artificial intelligence. Also, now you need to ask yourself, for instance, Toshiba will be asking you, recruitment in a very short time will be taken over by artificial intelligence. Which means most recruiters would actually lose their job if they don't understand how to work with artificial intelligence. Now, if you sit back and ask yourself, 
If artificial intelligence is going to take my job, do I need to start to learn about artificial intelligence? Because part of the things they tortured at that particular seminar is that the tendency now where the, the technology is developing into is where um, artificial intelligence will now be more like your PA, where you say, um, PA, I need 10 CVs of people who meet this criteria. Interview them and send them. They will go through this, the web, find the right candidates, schedule an interview for them, run the interview for them, and shortlist the top three. Which means artificial intelligence will be developed specifically to do certain things for you. It now means that for you to be able to thrive in the new world, are you acquiring the skills of these new changes? Apart from that, too, for instance, um, let me use something like um, blockchain. What blockchain technology will do is that if it's set up properly in the recruitment space, background check will disappear. Because once your data is keyed into that place, it becomes permanent. Do we understand? Once they upload your CV, upload your certificates to a blockchain platform, you cannot delete it, you cannot edit it. So that if somebody wants to check, once that thing is, somebody employs you and uploads on the blockchain, when you leave, somebody else uploads, um, employs you and uploads on the blockchain, they don't need to ask you what is your work history. All the person needs to do is to go to the blockchain, key in your name, and it shows the person your, your work history. Not imputed by you now, but imputed by where you've been working. So which means, these are trends that anybody in the current world need to start to think about how do I key into these changes? Because if you don't key in, you start to be left behind. I'm just talking about just the recruitment space, but every industry, every space has changes that are going in there. For instance, the business development um, space, there are um, softwares now that can actually help you um, <clears throat> get the, get, there's something called, um, what's this name again? Salesforce. Salesforce is a sales platform that can help you get the, can, the potential clients, sort them out, and even do some of the outreaching to the customers. So, what you now ask yourself is, what if my company starts to deploy all these um, softwares? Why still have a job? So it's for you now to go back and ask yourself, what do I need to start to train myself at? Somebody said that what makes great players great, people like um, Messi, Ronaldo, is in a match, they don't stay where the ball is. They go where the ball will be landing so that by the time the ball is getting there, they're already there. It means that in life and in career, <clears throat> whatever anybody is doing, you must be able to project and look at where is the future of this industry. And when you see the future of that industry, you start to push yourself, prepare yourself to that particular area. So this is important for each and every one of us. And it's also why we need to get active online. There are changes happening in every sector, but certain changes are going to disrupt every industry. Artificial intelligence, blockchain, data analytics. Robotics and uh, which other one? Which other one? Eh? Big data, which has to do with data analytics. Data analytics means that we have one million CVs. Something analyzes this and puts it in more of the ATS. But these are things that you must know about so that you are already prepared for them before they start to happen. And it's important for us that we take this seriously and we start to develop ourselves towards those ends. Because somebody comes in and asks you now, what are the changes in your industry? Do we actually know? 
Because if you don't know the changes in your industry, when it happens, you won't even know that it has happened. You just wake up one day and realize that you've been left behind. So it's important. Um, in my village, there used to be this um, bridge that was broken down. And when the bridge was broken down, my house used to be the last in the village. So that when people are coming to my village, they will, were always the last place they will get to. Now, the bridge was fixed. I mean, it was fixed. When you're now coming now with the new road, my own is the first house you meet. What that means is that anybody who doesn't study change when it's happening, you might think that you are first in a particular sector. And you're not noticing the change. The moment the change happens, we are the last. Our clients, for instance, is part of the reason why I was staff, always any of the clients that interact with I say, even if you are operating in the market, start to look for other opportunities outside. Like for a lot of big players in Lagos now will be affected because Lagos State Government is shutting down a lot of markets. Which means if you are operating just in the market, if they shut it down, your business is shut down. But if you say, you know what, let me even start to get sales rep. Let me even start to open branches, just in case. The same way too, we also need to be looking at what are the trends that can come in and what are the things we need to start to do. So this is important for everybody. Skill set. Look, do your gap analysis. This is where I am. This is where I desire to be. What are the skill sets that should be filled in between? Also approach the people that you work with. Between what I'm doing and what you expect me to do, is there a gap? If for instance it's graphic and you say, okay, the designs I'm making now and the design you expect from me, is there a gap? Yes, there's a gap. Okay, it means I need to go and take more training on Canva. It means I need to go and watch more videos on um, Photoshop. It needs, means I need to go and watch more videos on um, video editing. Customer service. Is there a gap between what I'm doing now and what you expect of me? Yes. Okay, let me even go. Who are the top um, customer service companies? What are the skills that their people have? Let me start to watch videos about them. Fill that skill set gap if you want to actually develop in what you are doing. If not, you just keep on doing the same thing over and you, are think, you think you are growing until one day you just realize that you are told that we don't actually need you anymore. For you to grow in any industry and remain relevant, skill set upgrade is very, very important.